Hello everyone, my name is Hannah, if you don't already know. Subscribe if you haven't already. But let's get started. We will talk about the Japanese seasoning face diagnosis. This is going to be a more in-depth analysis of each face type. There's eight face types. I'll also just mention that these are Japanese beauty standards. Some of these examples may not necessarily be from Japan, like specifically I may use Korean actors or idols. It just might be easier to match the face types to these idols or people that you know. Another disclaimer is that these celebrities are the definition of their respective face types. So for others and even celebrities as well, there's a combination of different sauces. Some can be subjective due to like that specific photo or just how you see that person given how much you know about them. It's not the most accurate, but it is a fun way to see different face types. Let's begin. We have shoyu gao soy sauce face. This is the most Japanese-like face, hence soy sauce being the most common ingredient that we use. This face type is very well balanced. For men, we describe it as a Japanese-style good-looking man. So often, this is the most common face type for both men and women. Here, we have Osamu Mugai. Here, you can already tell he has a small but very neutral face. There isn't anything that stands out the most. It's not particularly well sculpted, um, but it is very well balanced. Everything is neatly arranged, so the eyes are gentle and calm, the mouth and nose doesn't stand out at all. And here we also have Haruka Ayase, who gives off the same vibe. Personally, I think I am Shoyu Gao, because I don't have anything that like features that stand out the most, but I think everything is relatively uh, balanced, so. Typical face, this is what you can get, maybe. And next, we have Shiogao or salt face. This type of face gives off cool and mysterious vibes, almost being a little bit indifferent. But you want to know about them, but they, they're not giving that off based on their face, you know? So you have to get to know them to know that. Izuru Hanyu as an example, a very, very popular figure skater. You tend to have a overall plain and thinner face so you're typically your frame is also quite lean you also have fairer skin your features are not sharp at all it you know compared to soy sauce soy sauce was very balanced and everything it nothing like stood out but for shio it's actually really simple your eyes also tend to be more monolithic and like slanted and long thinner lips and also a higher nose bridge Um, Korean reference, we also have Lee Jun-ho. And you can kind of tell, you know, his eyes are kind of thinner. His lips are on the bigger side, handsome uh, face type, but it's just plain. Okay, and next, Osugao or vinegar face. Kiri face, direct translation, it's like fresh. It's not like bold or anything, but it's very just like light. Quite similar to Shio, it's quite thin. Um, you, you don't have a lot of like face fat on you, so your body is also quite lean, a, a slender figure, uh, which also makes your face stand out even more. Your face just like pops out. Your eyes are most likely monolithic and also as, just like Shio, narrow and long. But one of the unique features of Osuga that makes it different from Shio is that you almost have this sleepy expression. The expression is very gentle, you know? You're like a sad, nice person. <laughs> uh, you also don't usually have egyosol, a high nose bridge, which also creates that mysterious charm. The thin lips is also a must because it adds to the kind of plainness. We have namju hyok, not necessarily too much, but I think it's the kind of the sleepy vibes he can get, you know? Next, we have sato gao, sugar face. You are giving the definition of cute baby face. Give off innocent, very youthful, kind of boyish examples. We have Kanna Hashimoto. We're characterized by having a baby face. We have more rounded uh, facial features, not bony like uh, vinegar or salt. Round and big eyes also add to that uh, innocent look. We have Yudai Chiba. You tend to have also a thick egg-yosol. It's recommended, of course, to kind of accentuate that egg-yosol and put some more makeup. And next up, we have mayonnaise gao, mayonnaise face. This is a mixture of innocence, but somehow you show also the sexiness of an adult. 
so it's very very charming and alluring so over here we have yuko oshima you could tell there's like a baby face but it's also quite sexy you're not as sweet clearly as sugar face as it has features that make you look more mature this part resembles mayo it's like kind of gap between mildness and sourness and that's why they concluded that mayo was the best condiment for this fair skin is also common in mayo we have tai chi kokubo most likely have double eyelids but they're also kind of drooping eyes which gives it that more gentle and feminine soothing feeling we also have lee sang gi he smiles you can tell it's it's quite boyish it's quite like youthful and it looks like he still has so much of his life ahead of him but the other features make him look very like an adult very mature and reliable little nuance of uh, mayonnaise next up we have ketchup bugao ketchup face Especially for Japanese actors, this is my type, y'all. tend to have a more friendly aura, almost like you've seen this person or like you could be friends with them. So I have Kento Yamazaki, my uh, all-time favorite, y'all. A man's right there. Let's appreciate him for a sec. Okay, they have a very well-balanced face, just like soy sauce, but it's neither too dark nor too light. So it's not like too light like a uh, shiogao which is very you know like very small eyes or like thin eyes and just kind of plain but it's not dark as you'll see in the next ones um, it's quite in between of everything balance of richness sweetness sourness creating that ketchup taste and that's why they made ketchup ketchup for girly pops we have suzu hirose unlike soy sauce you have more sharper features like bigger double lidded eyes she's not like a baby face she's not like sh sugar face but she's also not soy sauce they also have that little bit of sexiness within them just like mayonnaise oh i'm very attracted to this type for the seventh face type we have miso gao miso face typical japanese face with a slightly darker look it's a stronger saltier flavor people often see it as like being half japanese here we have Ann Watanabe, Ken Watanabe's daughter, so you could see the resemblance. Ken Watanabe has the perfect features of a miso gal. Both their facial structures are quite sculpted and they tend to have bigger eyes as well with miso gal. That's given them almost being like a half -y. Your features are very clear, like apparent double-lidded eyes and thick egyoso. If you walk around the streets of Tokyo, you will not see this that often. There is still somewhat of a gentle vibe. That's why they're not sosu, is basically the distinction between the, this one and the next one. Lee Min Ho, like he has very strong structures, but it's not like extremely strong. Like they're not like crazy, like crazy jawline. He still has that no high nose bridge though, so you can kind of see the little distinction. And last, we have Sosugao sauce face. These face types literally exude sexiness. Tomoya Nagase. You could tell the difference between miso and sauce. Like, it's so much more sexy. It's, so your face is very deeply sculpted. Are they even Asian? Like, how did they? It's just not very common in Japan. So you can see that chiseled jawline. A uh, very well-defined cheekbone giving that impression of a very solid bone structure they tend to be more tanned I don't I don't know why that goes hand in hand the hollows from the eyebrows to the eyes are quite evident as well like it's quite deep they also have double eyelids and uh, bigger eyes their eyebrows are also thicker and darker they got those thick and juicy lips <laughs> the beard is quite common and quite more recommended actually for your face type it kind of makes you look even more like sexy actresses we have Mesa Kuroki she's actually from Okinawa so that completely makes sense the cheekbones are very evident and so this is why she is so sugo and here we have all of the face types this is kind of a more um, summarized version of what I've just talked about it's also an app that you can use you can check out my Instagram right over here. It's a very fun app that kind of analyzes your own face. It's almost kind of gimmicky We don't take it seriously, but of course if you tell somebody oh He has a shioga like you'll be like yeah, I can see that and and that's kind of it all of these base types are so beautiful 
in their own little ways and they all have their little appealing factors that make them attractive if you like this video like comment and subscribe i'll see you later bye